The Whanganui Wastewater Treatment Plant treats the waste for the Whanganui urban area. Given the industrial load of our wastewater, it is designed for a population equivalent of 200,000 people. It was constructed in 2017 and commissioned mid-2018. 1. Inlet Works This is where the wastewater from the city enters the treatment plant. All the wastewater produced by the city is pumped from Beach Road Pump Station, under the Whanganui River and along the airport to this point. The inlet works has two functions. The rotating screens remove debris present in the wastewater, such as rags, paper and plastic. The degritting structure removes sand, gravel and other heavy materials. Number 2. Covered Primary Pond The covered primary pond is a deep settling pond, used to separate a portion of the solids from the liquids in the incoming raw wastewater system. The solid particles in the wastewater settle to the bottom of the pond, forming biosolids. Some solids degradation occurs in the pond. As biosolids build up in the primary pond, it is extracted to the dewatering building for treatment. The pond is covered to prevent any foul odours escaping. Number 3. Odour Control Terrace There are two biofilters on this terrace dedicated to odour treatment. Foul air from the inlet works and the sludge management processes is treated in the smaller biofilter. Foul air produced by the contact stabilisation tanks is collected and treated in the larger biofilter. Other equipment on the terrace includes gas flare for foul air from the covered primary pond and sludge withdrawal pumps and a sludge storage tank. Number 4. Contact Stabilisation Tank The contact stabilisation tanks, or CSTs, are where biological treatment of the wastewater happens. We control the mix of food, or wastewater, oxygen and the correct bacteria needed for treatment. The bacteria consume the available food and oxygen and produce healthy biomass. From the CSTs, the mixture of biomass and treated effluent enters the clarifiers. Number 5. Clarifiers. Secondary clarifiers separate biomass from treated wastewater. Clarified effluent flows by gravity from the top of the tank to the UV building. Biomass is extracted from the bottom of the clarifier and returns to the contact stabilisation process. Some biomass is wasted to the covered primary pond. Number 6. UV building. This is the final treatment process before the treated effluent leaves the plant. We make use of ultraviolet UV light to disinfect the treated effluent before discharging through the existing outfall pipe to the ocean. The treated effluent flows past submerged UV lamps, and the UV light produced by these lamps kills harmful bacteria. Number 7. Dewatering building. In the dewatering building, water is removed from the biosolids to a level where it can enter the thermal dryer. This process happens in two steps. On the bottom platform, we have thickeners that thicken the biosolids from 1% to 4% dry solids. And on the top floor, we have centrifuges that thicken the biosolids from 4% to 20% dry solids. Dewatered biosolids are then pumped to the dryer building. Number 8. The dryer building. The dewatered biosolids are heated to greater than 125 degrees Celsius in the dryer. This destroys the harmful bacteria and evaporates moisture, leaving dry biosolids. Dried biosolids will be removed from the site. Natural gas is burned to produce heat for the drying process.